awesome, funny, fast, stylish, sexy, fun, infectious, intense, fucking original. <laughs> Baby driver, here we go. I feel like this is finally a review I can wear these the whole time, so I'm going to. I don't, even, I don't care if this looks like a 90s music video right now, I'm gonna do it. Although it's getting hot, so I'm not gonna wear this. Baby Driver is written and directed by Edgar Wright. He's the same guy that brought us uh, Scott Pilgrim, Hot Fuzz, Shaun of the Dead. Baby Driver is about this young guy named Baby, B-A-B-Y baby. All you need to know is that he is an insanely talented wheelman, getaway driver, and he works for Kevin Spacey. I am convinced that Kevin Spacey in this movie is continuing the story of Kevin Spacey from that 21 movie he did years ago. I swear, if you put these guys just side by side, one is poker and one is heist. In this movie, Kevin Spacey is setting up various heists, he's kind of the leader, and he never uses the same team twice to pull a job, except for Baby. For every heist, Baby is the only driver that Spacey will use, because Baby, as Spacey puts it, is a devil behind the wheel. I won't go into all the backstory, but basically Baby is paying off the debt and he's trying to complete one last job so you can repay the debt and get out of the game for good. Okay, you got the basics, but now we're gonna look under the hood. I'm gonna start where everybody else is starting and that is just straight up the style of this film. This is one of the most fluid, sexy, well-paced movies I've seen in a long time. Best of this year, for sure. I mean, everything from the driving sequences down to the expositional scenes, they're all extremely well cut and everything keeps the story moving along. And the driver of everything in this movie is the music. The entire movie is built around this soundtrack. I think it's like 30, it's like 32 songs in the soundtrack. Every gunshot, tire squeal, footstep, it is all built around the soundtrack. And beyond the music being awesome just for the sake of being awesome, it actually serves a very important purpose in the story, especially as it revolves around Baby. When Baby was a kid, he was in a car accident, his mom died in the accident, and ever since then, he's had this ringing in his ears, so he puts the music in to drown out the ringing. As he says, I think at one point, the music keeps him moving. A good way to think about it is that Baby is driving the car, but the music is driving Baby. I know I'm gonna butcher this kid's name, but it's Ansel Edgort, I believe is his name, plays Baby. But really going into this, I didn't know much about him, but I will say I'm not going to forget him after this movie. He was really, he was good. And one thing I was thinking about was as this young actor playing up against Jamie Foxx, Kevin Spacey, John Hamm. He could have easily just kind of gotten lost in the mix and been a very one-dimensional character, but he wasn't. He really made Baby a very likable character and against the charisma of those other actors, still stood out on his own, so props. Okay, I don't know if this is bothering anybody, but it's bothering me, so I'm gonna take these off. I wanna to touch quickly on some of the other cast members. Jamie Foxx plays a guy named Bats. All you need to know about Bats is Bats is insane. Ah, I just got it, Bats shit crazy. I seriously just got that. Jamie Foxx has been doing these kinds of jobs forever and he says straight out at one point I'm the one with the mental problem let me just put it this way if everyone was outside planning Jamie Foxx would be the guy just running in guns blazing you know Leroy Jenkins but what made him really good as a character is even though he's crazy he's pretty damn smart a couple times he nails some characters to the wall just in dialogue in the movie he just flat out tells them who they are and what they're about and they're just staring at him like damn he shows you that he's crazy, but he knows what he's talking about, so that makes him even more dangerous. Now, I love Jamie Foxx, but I have to say this, John Hamm. He's just one of the coolest guys on the planet, and he serves it up in this movie. After the first 10 minutes of the film, I thought he was just gonna be kind of a throwaway character, but there's actually quite a bit that happens with Hamm that I, I was not expecting. And I love that his name is Buddy in the movie. It's the most, the most non-threatening name in the world, next to Baby. He's smart, skilled, and deadly when he has to be, but John Hamm, you're awesome. Lily James plays a love interest in this movie. Her name is Deborah in the film. Again, this is a character could have been a throwaway character they could have just had a stereotypical love interest and they didn't do that she didn't do that deborah as a character is really likable and the kind of the young love connection she has with baby is kind of ridiculously cute to watch i like that both their characters are kind of introverted i'm a little bit of an introvert myself or at least i used to be a lot more of one when you are kind of an introvert and you're trying to get to know somebody any small commonality you might have with them it feels like something major so when these two are kind of riffing back and forth on each other it's baby B-A-B-Y baby.
she's got charm, baby's got game, and you root for them as a couple. Something I'm going to point out stylistically about the movie, I know I mentioned style before, but I actually saw this movie twice because I felt like I was missing something. There are so many little Easter eggs, little references and callbacks that you miss, I missed the first time through that. Watching it again, it, it made it better the second time I saw it. For me, this is the epitome of just an awesome summer movie. There were action and gimmicks in the driving that I'd never seen before, and everything in the action is edited in such a way that you can actually tell what's going on. You won't have a driving shot and then there's like eight different cuts in three seconds. You'll see baby in the driver's seat, long drift, and then continue on. It's just very slick. I was watching an interview, I think, with the director, and I believe he said most, if not all, of the driving in the movie was, was practical. There's this scene in the trailer where he does a 180 in, 180 out, dodging a truck in an alley. And he said that scene was 100% real, so if that was real, Hmm? So action, driving, awesome, check, check, check. The other characters in the movie that I'm not mentioning, even the short-lived ones, were all great. You learn enough about everybody to kind of know who they are and what they're about. You always feel like there's a little more you could know about the characters, so that really keeps you engaged to all the characters. The style and cadence of this movie was really original. It really was its own thing, and it was awesome to watch. And the dialogue was masterclass. I'm not a writer, I just think it was. There's just this snappy flow to the dialogue, even exposition that just keeps everything moving. And I love it when the writer throws something in that's just a very small piece of dialogue that tells you so much about a character without having to have it completely laid out for you. Waitress girlfriend, she's cute. Let's keep it that way. There's a lot of little lines like that throughout the movie. If I could find any criticism to Baby Driver, and this is me digging pretty hard, I wish they would have done a, just a little bit of trimming on the Baby Deborah getting to know each other scenes, but that's about it. I mean, they were cute and it was enjoyable, but just the, the pacing seemed to drag a little bit, just, just a hair. And even having said that, I couldn't tell you what needed to be cut. I still liked it, just, just had a little dip. So all this comes back to the main question of was I entertained? Hell yes I was, period. No question, I was absolutely entertained with this movie. So much so, like I said, that I saw it twice. I'm not only going to give this movie a golden ticket, I'm going to give it two golden tickets. Cha-ching! Yes, it was that good. Usually I just give my opinion and say, ah, oh, tell me what you think. I'm imploring you to go see this movie. It, it is the best movie I have seen all year, and it is definitely going to be in my top 10 for sure, 100%. I'm gonna link the, the full length trailer. If for some reason you haven't seen the trailer, do me a favor, watch the trailer. If it makes you smile, go see the movie like yesterday. But as always, this is just my opinion. What I really wanna know is what you think. Did you see Baby Driver? Do you agree with me? Do you like it? Did you not? Throw it down in the comments. I really wanna know what you think. So stay entertained until next time, and until next time, bye-bye.